Katie McKenzie, ladies and gentlemen, the singer-songwriter here with us today. So great to have you back on the show. You've been working hard to write new music and going back and forth from Nashville, right? Yes, yeah. It's been a lot. I've been going to school and doing Nashville, and um, I really love the people that I'm working with. We've been writing some great songs, and hopefully by the end of the year we'll have something to put out. What is it like? being in Nashville, the, the heart of country music, and, and writing there, and you just get oh, kind of the inspiration from being yeah, in that city? Yeah, it's great, it's inspiring. I mean, there are musicians on every single corner, so there's always inspiration in Nashville. Do you have anybody that you idolize or look, look up to, or anyone you would really want to sing with? Oh, that's a lot. Probably Casey Musgraves, Miranda Lambert, any of those, Dolly Parton. <laughs> Shoot for the stars, right? <laughs> that's right, that's right. Have you ever gone into the Ryman Auditorium? No, I haven't. haven't. No, when I go up there, it's I have vocal lessons, writing, and then coming back. Yeah. You're not playing tourists. No. You're in there <laughs> working hard. Yeah. <laughs> what so, What are you most excited about as far as performing here at the rodeo? I'm excited to be outside and um, to be even near Brad Paisley and be playing. <laughs> to breathe I in mean, the same air. Come on, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you kept right. timer on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you can find Katie's album Freedom on her website, and there's more to come from this local artist. You can go check her out at the rodeo, as we mentioned, February 20th at the AT&T Courtyard from 6 to 6.45 and 10.30 to 12.30 and maybe right around Brad Paisley. And Paisley's. she's <laughs> also performing on February 24th from 3 to 6 at the Craft Beer Tap Room, but for now, she's performing for us. Katie, take it away. So I took it on home, gave it lots of water, gave it lots of light. No matter what I did, I couldn't get it right. It was asking for something I never understood. Now there's a pile of dirt where a prickly pear once stood. Be 